Welcome to today's video, guys. What's going on guys? Welcome to today's video. So today I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how to go about building yourself a routine for you. Okay, so what I do as an online fitness coach is I answer all these questions for people who kind of want to outsource it to me to do the, you know, this thinking for them. But I want to just make this video so that I can teach you guys exactly how to do it. Maybe you guys don't want to start with an online coach. Maybe you guys, you know, have a really busy schedule. Whatever it may be guys, you can get around it by using these methods of building your own schedule. So without further ado, by the way, I'm in like a college room, which is kind of ironic because like I dropped out of college and here I am back in the classroom teaching a lesson. So that's funny how life works, right? But let's get started with the video. If you guys do find this video informational, if you guys take something away from it, if you guys learn how to build yourself a routine that works for you, not anyone else, but you, please give the video a thumbs up for me. Also, subscribe to the channel if you guys want to see more. So, let's get started with the video. Again, thank you guys so much for watching this channel. I appreciate all of you. Let's get started. Okay, all right. First things first, before we even get into this video. You want to determine your goals, okay? What does this mean, you might ask, all right? Goals, we're gonna be talking about, do you wanna gain weight? Do you wanna lose weight? Do you wanna gain strength, okay? All these different types of goals is gonna determine, one, how you're gonna make your lifestyle work around it, and how you're gonna structure everything that we talk about in this video. So, the most important thing for you guys, can you see me, please, So the most important thing, guys, is that you pick your goals, okay? And based off of those goals, you're gonna be able to structure your routine. What I mean by that, if you're trying to lose weight, that means that you're gonna wanna be monitoring more calories than really your routine in the gym. Why? Because you can't out-train a bad diet. You have no business trying to go and create this crazy routine that is gonna be like the craziest thing ever since like sliced bread. I am the one, the way your time, no need of guns to get respect up on the street. That without tracking proper calories and everything like that. One, because like if you just focus on the routine, the gym routine guys, and you don't focus on the diet, you're gonna be wasting your time. So that's one kind of thing that you guys wanna look at. So if you're trying to lose weight, if you are a little bit heavier or anything like that, you're going to be one of looking at cleaning up your diet before anything because that is where the bad habit really starts, okay? 
eliminating calories that you don't really need to eat and stuff like that, following proper macros, following proper calories, and that's like what I do for my clients. I pick the calorie number for them, I pick the macros based off of information that they give me, like their, their height, weight, all that stuff, their daily routines and everything like that. And then if you want to go for strength, you're going to be one of looking at lower rep ranges, stuff like that. If you're going to be wanting to build muscle, okay, you can do higher rep ranges, right? So the 8 to 12 rep range and achieving progressive overload and everything like that. So that is just the first thing that you want to do. Now, the majority of this lesson is going to be just creating a routine, okay? So these routines do work for whatever type of goal that you want to go for. What really is going to set it apart is the in-depth part of the routine, and that's why I want to bring it up before we even start this video. So do you want to lose weight? Do you want to gain weight? Do you want to build muscle? Do you want to only focus on strength? Do you want to build power? Do you want to train like a football player? Do you want to train like an ice skater? Do you want to train like a gymnast? What do you want to do? And then based off of that answer, it's going to help you build this freaking crazy thing that we are doing here. And it's your routine. So that's it first. Oh yes, class, as you see here. Here we go. Look at your lifestyle. Okay, now why are we looking at your lifestyle? Because this, this plan that we're making for you is for you specifically. So what does that mean? It means that you need to look at your life and say, do I want to consume it with fitness? Do I want to not consume it with fitness? Do I want to kind of do this part time? Do I want to go to the gym three days a week? Whatever. I want to, you want to make sure that your lifestyle aligns with your goals and everything like that. There's people who love to go hardcore. There's people who love to eat out and then still track macros loosely and everything like that. There's people who like to do both. So my advice to you guys is that you have to look at your lifestyle. You have to decide exactly how you want to arrange your routine. And what I mean by that is that you want to go hardcore or do you want, do you want to not go hardcore, okay? This is, this is to make your life better, not to consume your life, in my personal opinion. But I have some clients who say, hey, I want the same, the same food every single day for weeks, weeks on end, you know? And so I have some people who say, I don't want to eat the same thing every day. So I want to track macronutrients, and I want to be going out to restaurants, and I want to track out, I want to do intermittent fasting, all that stuff. So that's exactly what you guys need to decide for yourself. You want to decide for yourself if you want to take this to the next level, you want to kind of find a happy place where you can balance, you know, you know, the party lifestyle with the fitness lifestyle with, you know, balancing a busy schedule and everything like that. So that is the first thing, guys. You got to look at your lifestyle first before you look at anything because if you don't make it compatible to your lifestyle, you're going to waste your time because you're not going to be able to stick with the plan. So you want to pick what works for you and not someone else. Now, I see this a ton with college students, a ton with high school students, and I even see it in adults too, because someone at your book club is like, I do this, I do that, you should do it too, and let's just get fit together. And while it's good to just hop in fitness and stuff like that, I'm not discouraging people from kind of, you know, going out of their way just to get to the gym and getting active, okay? Anything that you do, CrossFit, whatever, or bodybuilding, you like to walk in the park, anything is good. But I want to encourage you guys, if you're going to build a routine that lasts, lasts a lifetime and that you want to focus on getting really good results on, you got to pick something that works for you and not someone else. And what I mean by that, when you look at your schedule, your schedule is not always going to match your gym partner schedule, okay? Unless you guys are doing the same exact thing over and over again and it just works out perfectly, but that's not always the case, okay? I see a lot of people, they'll go to the gym with somebody and they'll kind of let them lead the workout and where the problem is is that when that one person cannot go with them, they just don't go to the gym. So there you are, you're putting your power in someone else's hands and you need to put it into your own hands by picking a routine that works for you and not someone else.
Anakin Skywalker up in here, you already. Consistency, guys. Most important thing, all right? Picking a schedule where you can be consistent over, you know, just trying to go as much as possible is gonna be the best thing for you because if you can't maintain a consistent schedule and going to the gym, even if it's one day a week, two day a week, all right, you need to pick something, start small, okay, and then you work your way up to a schedule that you adapted to and the one that you're gonna get the best results on because you're being so consistent, okay? So for consistency wise, okay, now how you guys are gonna get really focused on consistency here is that you're gonna wanna pick a number and that number is gonna represent the, the number of days in a week that you're going to attend the gym no matter what. No matter what happens, you have committed to this number, you are gonna go to the gym this many times a week, and you are gonna get results doing so, okay? We're gonna be talking about splits later on, but this number, three, four, one, two, whatever, okay? You are gonna pick that number, and you are going to go to the gym that many times a week for as long as it takes for you to get in a habit. Okay, once you develop that habit, yes, you can go up. Okay, I did not start going to the gym six days a week out of nowhere. I started out very small, one day a week, going to a cycling class with my mom. Okay, because I was just like so self conscious about going into the gym. That was all I was willing to put out. And it was on a Wednesday and it was at seven o'clock with all the moms and stuff. And if that's what you guys need to do, do it. Okay, one time a week, two times a week. But you really need to focus on being consistent to that number, okay? Because if you break this number, if you go below it, you're going to discourage yourself and you're going to break that habit forming, okay? So that's it. Pick a number, stick with that number for as long as you can, and then go up when you need to, all right? Okay, guys. Different kinds of splits. This is a question that I get asked all the time. What kind of split should I be doing for my body, whatever. Okay, guys, so this I wanna break it down. So essentially, there's a lot of different ways to work out whatever, okay? But four ways right here, okay, that I'm gonna to recommend to you guys, all right? I'm trying to make this as simple as possible. If I write out every single way that you can work out, it's gonna be really hard for you guys to pick one and stick to it, okay? So for example, if you wanna do a three-day split, Okay, you're gonna be one of doing it full body. Okay, so this full body is gonna be focused on compound movements, really strong movements, and then that's gonna help you grow throughout the whole week. Okay, it's gonna allow enough frequency to stimulate growth. Now, we're also gonna to wanna to be doing a four day split depending on our schedule. Now, what is a three day split and a four day split? How do they differ, whatever? So a three day split is Monday, Wednesday, Friday, preferably, okay? Now a four day split is gonna be Monday, Tuesday, off Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, okay? So you're gonna be going upper on Monday, lower on Tuesday, off Wednesday, and then you're gonna be going upper again and lower again, okay, on Thursday and Friday, okay? Now these splits are specifically designed to stimulate growth if you work out properly, okay? And what I mean by that is that you're gonna be stimulating growth because you're gonna be working out with enough frequency, okay? So we're not doing any bro splits here. Now what a bro split is, is pretty much when you're working out each, each body part, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and why that's not attainable for someone that's natural or just, if you have freak genetics, yes, you can get away with this, but, Protein synthesis is only elevated up to 48 hours max. So if you hit chest on Monday, you're gonna have to hit it again on Thursday in order to get the most bang for your buck, okay? So that's why these splits are very important to follow, especially if you're natty. You know, most of my audience, I believe you're natty, so that's what I recommend to you. Uh, a five-day split, uh, I've had some clients ask me for a five day split and basically what I personally do is do an upper lower split so it's the same as the four day split but instead of taking a rest day on Wednesday you're going to be doing cardio instead. Now depending on what your goals, what that is, you could make Wednesday an ab day if you're going to be trying to bulk up and you don't want to be doing excessive cardio or anything like that, you can put in an ab day, okay? Or you can put in weak points too, for example forearms, calves, like I said before, abs and stuff like that, and maybe stuff that you want to bring up, okay? So, 
next is the six day split. Now this is probably the most aggressive split out of them all, just being the fact that you're gonna be going to the gym six out of seven days a week. Okay, now this is personally the split that I follow, and you can do push, pull, legs. You can do legs, push, pull. Basically, you're doing Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. You're either taking a day off on Thursday, or you're going to repeat the cycle and then take a day off on Sunday. Okay, so you're going to the gym six days a week, all right? Now, where the important part is about the six day split is that you do not necessarily need to be doing push pull legs, okay? I have a lot of people who prefer to train different muscle groups with each other. Uh, I used to do uh, chest and back, I used to do arms and shoulders, and then I used to do just legs, okay? So there's pretty much hitting everything, but it's kind of doing it in a different way, all right? So obviously, back and chest are gonna be doing push and pull. Some people like to prefer to do that that way. All that I will tell you guys is that you should be hitting each muscle group at least two times a week, okay? You can hit it three if you're lagging. I would recommend doing that, but rule of thumb, try and hit everything twice a week, and you're gonna notice a pattern. Here you're hitting it three, here you're hitting it two, here you're hitting it two, here you're hitting it two. Okay, so you're hitting everything with enough frequency and that's the most important thing. Yes, let's talk about volume, it's my favorite subject. Here we go, volume, volume, volume. Okay, so for the people that love copying people's workouts from Instagram, it is good. You are working out, I applaud you. But, again guys, a lot of people, especially in the fitness industry, may not have the same genetics as you, they've been training longer, they might be on performance enhancing drugs, so this is the only reason why I wanna bring this up because I see a lot of beginners especially seeing these professionals, these IFBB pros, these really big high up guys, I see them literally copying the exact volume that they do. They're doing like 10 sets for something and whatnot, but guys, I don't wanna, I wanna make sure that you guys don't do that, okay? The reason for that is because when you're on a performance enhancing drug, you're literally like a superhuman, okay? You can handle the beating that your, your body's going through by taking those drugs, okay? But when you're a natural, you won't really be able to recover with the excessive volume that you're doing with those workouts, okay? So, what I have to say about volume, guys, is that when you're a beginner, you wanna start off as little, as little, as little as possible. The reason for that is because once you realize that either you're making gains or you're not making gains, you're gonna have room to go up, okay? If you just start out doing five sets for everything and you know, you're doing crazy amount of volume, when you stop growing, you're gonna have nowhere to work up to. It's just like when you're doing a cut and you start doing cardio every day. That is exactly what you do not wanna do. You wanna start losing weight with your cut based off of your calories in and calories out. Cardio is just a tool that you add in later on, okay? And it's kind of similar because if you just start out doing cardio every day, you're gonna, you're really gonna negatively impact your body because once you stall and you stop losing weight, you're gonna have no more days to do cardio because you're doing it every single day. Now it's kind of the same thing with this. You wanna start off small so that, you know, I'm talking, you know, maybe three to four movements per muscle group on the higher end, on the bigger, bigger end of the spectrum. So I'm talking about your back, your chest, okay? For your arms, you're gonna to wanna to try and do two to three movements, okay? So start small. And as far as reps wise and stuff like that, you're trying to achieve progressive overload, okay? Now what that means is that if you start doing eight reps with 135 pounds on the bar for the bench, okay? Your goal should be to get to 140 eventually, okay? You wanna be increasing weight. That is progressive overload, okay? You do not wanna be doing the same, no, the same weight for you know, forever, okay? The whole goal is to get stronger, and as you start adding more and more weight to the bar, your muscles are going to grow. Okay, so the last thing I wanna say about volume, just to wrap it up, guys, do not copy the people that you see on social media all the time. Take into consideration where you currently are, and then adapt that to your schedule. So for example, you know, if you're just starting out, two to three sets is plenty, okay? Because you're literally just starting out, okay? There's plenty of room for you to grow and increase sets and reps as you go on, but 
I would say for reps, pick a number that's going to be very simple to you. Um, you know, you could do eight reps is something that I recommend a lot of people. See what you can do with eight reps and then as the weeks go on, you're just going to try and get stronger with eight reps. It makes it very simple to achieve progressive overload, okay? So let's say week one, you're doing eight reps with 135 on the bar, okay? And you're doing that for three sets. Now, the next week you can try 140 for one out of those three sets. And then the two other sets you can do 135. That is progressively overloading because instead of doing the same three sets again, one of them you're going heavier and two you're staying the same. Now, week three comes around, you're gonna be doing two sets with the higher weight and then one set with the lower weight and then eventually you're gonna be up at 140 for three sets, okay? I hope that makes sense. That's how I explain it to a lot of people and that is the most simplest way I know how to explain progressive overload, okay? It's basically you're just overloading, you're increasing the volume, you're increasing the weight in some way, shape, or form, and that is going to stimulate more growth. So, volume. Don't copy other people's stuff. Do it with yourself. Do it, take into consideration where you currently are, and then do it. Let's get started with uh, number six here, start small, okay? Now this kind of ties in with volume, okay? It's essentially the same thing, but I want to, you know, I even like, you know, this is like a fancy here. Start small. The reason why I say start small is because everyone loves to go to the gym every single day on the new year, okay? Everyone wants to go. And the problem with that is that you're not preparing yourself and you're not being realistic with yourself if you've never been in the gym before. So, why I say start small is because starting small is the number one way to increase your chances of longevity in getting in shape and everything like that. Now, what I mean by that is that when you are getting in shape and everything like that, you don't want to pick something that's too difficult for you and you don't want to pick something that's too easy. So, the best thing that I want to say is you got to start small, okay, no matter what. Now, what that means is that if you have a busy schedule, you do not want to be going to the gym six days a week, okay? You want to try and shoot for three. Why? Because you're starting smaller, okay? Once the three-day split becomes manageable to you, then, yes, you can increase it to four, maybe five, six eventually, okay? Like I said, I started with one, all right? And the best thing to do is to get good at going to the gym one day a week, then two, then three, then four, okay? That's how you increase your chances of sticking with it. A lot of people just jump into a six day routine and then they get so overwhelmed, they're too sore to even walk or sit on the toilet seat and that is the problem, okay? You wanna pick something where you start small and it's gonna increase your chances of surviving longer in this dangerous world that we got out there in the gym, okay? Are you ready to end this video? Okay, and guys, seven, focus on form, not results. This applies for beginners, okay? So the worst thing that I see in the gym is improper form, okay? And this is mainly because when you're in the gym with your boys, you're like, yo, man, I'm trying to push this weight up. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get my butt off the seat. I'm trying to just like wing it. I'm trying to use an arch in my back to get my deadlift up. No, do not do that, okay? Do, you don't want to be that guy, okay? You don't want to be this guy. Now, the reason for this is, guys, is because, listen, when you start off as a beginner, before you even get into the three-day split, you need to learn form, okay? I really thank myself for this early on because I managed to look at my form. I was so self-conscious that if I wasn't doing the form right, you best believe that I wasn't even coming to the gym. I wasn't even hanging out with the big guys in the, in the gym, in the playpen. Now guys, so when I first started in the gym, I was doing like 500 push-ups a day, and I was actually developing a little bit of a chest. So I was really excited about that, but I wasn't quite ready to go into the gym. So what did I do? A couple days out of the week, I chose a really good time where the gym wasn't busy, and I went in there and I just practiced form. I just practiced how to bench, okay? I just practiced how to do things like the deadlift, I practice how to squat, I practice how to do curls correctly, you know, a lot of people use their back and stuff like that. Now, you want to make sure that you get the form down first before you progress into anything because this is the foundation. The foundation is form, okay? You are trying to get better at form so that you can progress 
a lot faster, all right? If you try and progress with improper form, one, it can cause injury, and two, you're, gonna, you're not gonna get the best results possible because if you're not doing it with good form, that's not gonna be working the muscles properly. Okay, guys, now, if you guys wanna really support this channel, you need to look at this monkey and give the video a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed the content that I share with you today. Now, these are questions that I ask myself about all the clients that I have when they first come to me. I ask them all these kind of questions and everything like that, and that's how I build their routine, essentially. I build it around whether they're beginner, intermediate, advanced, whatever the case may be, and this is exactly what you guys can do to start learning how to build yourself a routine, okay? Now, if you guys want sample workouts and everything like that, you guys can check out some of my previous videos where I have like full workouts in the description and everything like that. So you guys can just look at those, kind of take them for yourself. Obviously, we discussed a volume, okay? That was a really big thing that I want to make clear here. My volume is not going to be the same as your volume, most likely. If you're just starting out, you want to start out small, like I said before. So if, you, if I'm doing four sets for everything, maybe you want to start off with three or two, maybe. Okay, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys enjoyed my monkey. This is probably the best thing that I can draw. So if you guys you know want to support me, please give the video a thumbs up because... I took a long time to draw this monkey and I really would appreciate that. And yeah, so if you guys liked this video, if it was really helpful, in all honesty, it would help me reach more people if you guys hit the thumbs up and commented what you guys liked about the video, okay? If you guys liked how I was funny, because I'm waving this stick up, if you guys thought this video was kind of ironic, because I am back in the classroom. <laughs> so if you guys like this video because you found the information useful, you know, I wanted to lay it out for you guys exactly how I do it for my clients so that you guys out there can build your own routine just to start, okay? Now, thank you guys so much for watching the channel. Subscribe if you guys wanna see more content like this. And if you guys wanna see more like whiteboard action where I'm explaining things, please comment your idea below or your question and then I can answer it in a video. So I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. I love you all. Thank you.